So for the, so the equation 2 cos 2 theta is equal to 1 for theta between 0 and 360 degrees. So we solve the equation like this. So we have 2 cos 2 theta is equal to 1. We divide both sides by 2. So this cancels with that. So this means that cos 2 theta is equal to a half. Now, uh, using our uh, unit circle, we can use that to demonstrate. So we have this is all the three ratios are positive. Uh, only sine is positive there. Only tangent is positive and cosine. This means that cosine is positive in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. And the angle that is whose co cos is a half in the first quadrant is 60. So this means that cos 2 theta is equal to 60 degrees. Uh, is equal to cos 60 degrees. So 2 theta is equal to 60 degrees. Uh, theta is equal to 30 degrees. From there, uh, we have cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant, so and the angle is 300. So it means that uh, cos 2 theta is equal to cos 300 because the cosine of 300 is a half, and therefore we have we have our 2 theta is equals to 300 degrees implying theta is equals to 150 degrees so that's another uh, value of theta uh, now to get to the other angles we say that uh, cos 2 theta 2 theta is equals to uh, we start with the cos 360 degrees plus 60. So this means that 2 theta is the same as 420 degrees <coughs> implying 2 theta is, equ is equal to 420 degrees uh, implying theta is equal to 210. Again, we take uh, another angle and this angle we say cos 2 theta is equals to uh, cos we say 360 degrees plus 300 degrees so this means that 2 theta is equals to this will be 660 degrees uh, we divide by 2 so our theta is equals to 330 degrees if we go beyond this th our angle will be out of range uh, that is beyond 360 and therefore angles satisfying theta are we start with 30 so we have 30 degrees we have 150 we have 150 uh, we have another one uh, 210 so we have 210 degrees and finally we have 330 degrees so that's how you work out that question and you earn yourself four marks